Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a consultant with Rotiv. We help small businesses automate their processes using Salesforce. In this video, we're going to talk about leads and when you should convert a lead. So the lead object in Salesforce should ultimately be marked as unqualified or closed because you're not going to work with it, or it should be converted. And when you convert a lead, it can turn into three different records. A lead can turn into an account, a contact, and an opportunity if the time is right for that opportunity. So click on the converted button here and hit select converted status. And that's going to bring up that dialog box to let you create these three different records at once. Now, generally you want to convert a lead when it's qualified. So that means, uh, you have verified that it's good data. It's not just junk that a robot filled a form form out with or you've, you've spoken with the person or done some research on their company and realized this is actually a legitimate prospect for your business. Now, different companies, they all have uh, different standards of what is qualified. And when it comes to converting a lead, you might not be creating an opportunity at that time. And it could still be a qualified lead and worthy of becoming an account and a contact. So to give you an example, let's say we spoke to Bertha here at Farmers Co-op of Florida and uh, spoke to her on the phone and turns out she actually is a great prospect for us, but the timing is not right. They're just not willing to consider our technology or our solution right now because they're too busy or it's outside of the budget cycle. So in that case, well, we know this is a qualified prospect, but the timing's not right for an opportunity. So I'm gonna convert her into an account and a contact, but I'm gonna check the box to not create the opportunity just yet. You know, instead I'll set a task for myself, follow up with her in six months. You know, maybe I'll put her on an email drip, something like that, but we're still going to go ahead and convert her into an account and a contact. Now, other times, let's say we spoke with Bertha and she's ready for an opportunity right now. She wants a demo, wants to keep the process going. Uh, well, in that case, obviously we're going to convert and we're going to create an opportunity at this point in time as well. Another reason, uh, you might want to convert a lead is if this account already exists in your database. So if we have farmers co-op of Florida already as an account, uh, and maybe we've worked with them before, maybe not, uh, but Bertha is new to us, we should still convert her because we've got a relationship with that company. We've already done qualification on the company. And generally it would be helpful to know uh, that this person is a member of that account. Um, even before we speak with her, if it looks like it's legitimate data, I would just convert, select converted status here, and I would create that new contact for Miss Bertha Boxer. Um, if the account already exists, of course, we don't want to create a new one. In that case, you choose existing, find the appropriate account and put that contact underneath the account. Uh, the reason for that is because we want to have all the data on one company in one place. So if you're trying to understand who's communicating with people at the farmers co-op of Florida, the best place to understand that is to look at an account and then you can see data and activity across all the related contacts. If we leave her as a lead, then uh, we're, we might miss out on that. We might go look at the account and not realize that this lead is also an employee at that company. In, in which case we might not realize that somebody else has been reaching out to her. Another salesperson or SDR is reaching out to other people at the company. Um, and it might be a bad experience for the customers. So in conclusion, you should convert a lead when that lead is qualified or when you already have the account for that lead in your system. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.